Thanks for staying with us. As the world is evolving and more innovation sprouting, it is important to evolve as this global change uh, is coming with fresh opportunities. Now, there are ways to break into a new career, even if it's something you've never done before. For starts, be willing to start over. Get some education, volunteer, frame your existing ex um, exper expertise or experience appropriately to suit the new career that you are aiming at. And use non-traditional ways uh, of finding a job, that's to mention a few. So how easy is it to cross into a new career opportunity? Now, please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at Wayshow Africa 1 with the hashtag Wayshow, or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 803 has been smiling since. <laughs> <laughs> Before I bring in Chioma in like two minutes, tell me. Because it, it seems like people that are, maybe me, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Does it, does it, ha does anything about switching careers, does it have anything to do with your personality? Because I think it has a huge I, role I, to play. I think it does. I, I think it, first, your personality speaks a lot, whether or not you like it. Mm. When you walk into a room, even, you know, without talking, you're already talking, mm -hmm. you know, and who you are. In fact, especially in these days when, you know, people tend to go beyond your CV to really know who you are, mm. especially when you want to fill some job roles, your employers are really, you know, they really want to know what kind of person that you are. Mm. So yes, personality does a lot. And you would ask why I'm smiling. I'm smiling because <laughs> I'm going to talk to Choma. And, you know, she may not know this, but she's, she's a person I admire a lot. And I think, you know, one of the things that we're going to be talking about is also this personality and her personal brand. Because I know she has a very strong personal brand mm. and how she carries herself. So I'm really looking forward to the discussion. Maybe that's why I'm you are smiling. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think a lot of people are just so scared. And, you know, for the, me... Well, there's a reason. I'm yeah. sorry to mm. cut you short, but the, there's a reason to be afraid. Mm. You know, when you look at the way people employ these days, you know, I said some people, you know, care about your personality. Others don't. They're just looking at the certificate, what you have on paper. And I know that it's really an outdated way, you know, people still employ. And then some people are looking for very young people. <laughs> what I'm even saying that even with technology that is evolving, COVID-19 that mm -hmm. has happened, so many opportunities are, you know, are springing up. But how well are we prepared are for it? You know, so people are too comfortable. That's the point. And you can't blame them. Ah, okay. Is so let me bring in Choma. Choma Affair is a corporate angel for Diamond to Access Bank after the merger, where she heads the retail marketing and analytics um, group. She has worked as a marketing manager at MultiChoice and Cadbury, as well as a senior manager at Airtel, Coca-Cola, and British American Tobacco. All through her career um, journey, there is one thing she believes in, and I think that's what Ike said, and that is relationships. If, handled, if you handle them well, and the people you meet along the way um, work, uh, along the way talk about you positively, it does help. Every positive remark truly helps. That's her mantra. So we, and she's joined us live, uh, via Zoom. Thank you so much, Choma, for joining us this evening. Thanks for having me. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so you heard our banter about careers. When I saw your, your resume, I said, ah, this too much. She's gone everywhere. Because, ah, she don't sell a uh, cigar. She don't sell... <laughs> You know, been in telecom. I mean, you have been. You know, and you know, even though some people would argue to say that you have been in the same in terms of career marketing, it's not like you have switched to a different department and it's been marketing. But I want to believe that marketing in itself, in different establishments, must have different strategies, right? So, how has yeah. it been your journey, first of all, been like you know, transitioning into these different roles in different organizations? How has that been for you? Okay, so you are right. Um, I have been a brand manager. I think the first 15, 15 or so years of my career has been was purely brands, FMCG, BAT, uh, Coca-Cola for about 10 years or so in total, right? Almost that. And then on to Airtel. But um, I think the difference is one, the, the product itself. So there are basic principles of marketing. Anybody who's a brand manager will tell you the four Ps, the six Ps, whatever, right? But the product, the uniqueness of the product, the uniqueness of the customer, the industry knowledge, right, is something that is different. You, 
you keep learning, you keep improving on those things, right? And so my journey has been one that has exposed me to different industries. It's very diverse. So in as much as I've been a brand manager that sold Benson and Hedges, selling water is slightly different. Understanding above the line marketing, understanding activations that were open, free and fair, unlike tobacco, right, made me have to learn a different kind of skill. Um, when you are in an FMCG business and a brand manager, you don't just sit down and work out strategies. I think um, AK would understand this in a way in the bank when you talk about product managers. When you are in an FMCG business, you also are arm in arm with a salesperson. So you start to learn a bit about sales and you start to collaborate with salespeople and you start to understand the techniques of, you know, the steps of the call. What do you do with your trade members? How do you incentivize the trade? You start to look at value value chains and you know value chain management value chain marketing so it now gets a lot more robust a lot more complex right and so every experience for me and that's what i try to say when i wrote about myself is that every experience for me brings a new challenge every experience has a new piece of knowledge um, a new relationship that i must leverage and my goal has always been to be a general manager and the general manager for me means that you will be at the business end of things. You would also be at the corporate communications, uh, brand, corporate brand image management end of things. So you have to straddle both. If not, you really cannot be a general manager and run a business. And that ultimately is for me. I want to sit on a board before I'm 50, right? And so if that's my objective, I must be able to understand a business in totality. So a marketing manager is where I started. Now I'm in retail. And I'm pushing retail products. I'm understanding retail business in a bank. Mm. It's it's a different, completely different ballgame from wow. where I started. Yeah. yeah. So Chama, I, I know that you're a high flyer. You're a high performer. There is in in all the industries where you have worked, you know, you are a high flyer. So I'm just thinking, what will make a high flyer in media just leave and say, okay, I want to work in a bank, mm -hmm. you know? Um, apart from the dream of becoming general manager, because you can't be a general manager in, in media, but what gave you what gave you that gumption to just leave a familiar territory um, to a non-familiar territory on chartered waters? Okay, so okay, so like I said, I was always a brand manager, right? But you know, when you manage a product, um, and you would know this, AK, it's you're, you're literally sometimes it becomes like tunnel vision. You're like only focused on your product. Hmm. Worst case, you're focused on a portfolio of products. Hmm. But you never quite see the impact on the total business, do you? You never quite see how all this impacts out of the bottom line, how every piece comes to play. Um, as a brand person, I think the ultimate is managing the corporate brand hmm. because the corporate brand wraps it all up. And that's how I got into Diamond Bank. I got into Diamond Bank saying that I want to manage a corporate business. I want to manage a corporate brand. Mm. I want to be able to leverage PR and media to sell the corporate image, mm. right? I understood retail. I was able to support the retail business, but my focus was the corporate business. And seeing how this digital, digitally driven bank at the time was going to project itself positively. Right. Um, so as a corporate communications person and coming into the bank, I saw I swore years ago I would never work in a bank. <laughs> no, not bank, no. Um, but I think the bank, the banking industry is very professional. I think it's become more professional. I think also that with Diamond Bank then and even with Access Now, that step into retail expanded the horizon of the opportunity. Hmm. And I think that staying in the fmcg business or in multi-choice at the time would have limited me hmm. it would have limited my ambition i think that the bank um, has given me um, a huge a big platform banking now is not about brick and mortar as we know um, banking now has embraced lifestyle marketing it has embraced retail products and services and um, we're looking at apps and all these kinds of things technology you know, has come to stay in the banking world. And I think I saw some of that walking into Diamond and I'm seeing more of that now. So the platform is huge. Mm. The opportunities are even more. And I think by far more than where I was coming from to an extent. Okay, so um, Chama, let's talk COVID and how it has, you know, changed the, the, the style of businesses all over the world, where everybody's now thinking, if, first of all, they're thinking tech, everybody's thinking tech, you know, people have been thinking tech for a very long time, but now you are forced to, you know, <laughs> do, to, tech. Do, to do tech, right? And, yeah. and I know that there are opportunities 
within all of this transitioning that is happening globally around the world you know so what would what would it um what would be the mindset of corporate people right now you know nine to fivers how should they be thinking approaching this change that is happening globally you know because there has to be a mindset for you to be able to cross to a different you know um uh, what's it called a different uh, water that you have not charted before so there has to be that yeah. mindset what's the mindset that you would say you should have at the back of your mind for you to chart that course and probably take on new opportunities um i think for me um my advice to anybody now or at least my advice last year when i was talking to people is i think what covid has done is opened our eyes right and this new way of working it's come to stay hmm. this thinking digital uh, thinking how to push your products differently. I have friends who, what they did, um, they're entrepreneurs, and what they did before was um, uh, put together lifestyle uh, vacation holidays and lifestyle events, and you know it was physical. And two months into the into the pandemic, they're broke. Um, so they now started having to think out of the box. So that creative thinking, collaboration, hmm. creativity not limiting yourself, learning, reading. I had friends who sat down and started understudying Gokada and people like that, the delivery services, to even understand, okay, so what is it that they are doing differently? So people are looking for delivery opportunities. People mm -hmm. are looking for how to partner differently. I have a friend who has a small um, agency and his biggest clients at that time were this small, this young um, delivery business who were trying to pitch their logistics business to a bigger company and needed to sell their markets. And they couldn't afford billboards. They couldn't afford any of that. And they needed someone who could just, you know, design digital campaigns for them. And that's what this guy did. And he saw the opportunity in that partnership. So collaboration is now the way to think. Hmm. Thinking digital and actually reading up and learning. I'm doing an MBA. I'm having to study with 20 something year olds about coding and data analytics. And I'm totally out of my depth. But guess what? I have to understand it. You are no longer pen and paper, do you understand, reading some wordy report. You are going to look at data and have to make sense of this data. Mm. You are going to look at data, interpret what this means as regards your customer, what they are looking for, what they are buying, how they are buying, where are they buying, and then how do I now sell to them? So opening up your mind and learning, right, and embracing the fact that this is here to stay. Pen and paper is out, mm. right? Brick and mortar is not the be all and end all anymore. I'm not in your studio. I chose to be at home yeah. on a Zoom call. People are watching and it's amazing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And we are still getting the experience. We're still engaging, mm -hmm. right? And work still moves on. My office is at 40% capacity in the mm -hmm. building, but we're still pushing those numbers and we're still tracking. And so you now become more creative and innovative, right? You now realize there's nothing that can limit you. And if we look at your career, mm -hmm. it's the same thing. Why should you be limited? Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so I um, were discussing before we, we brought you in about comfort zones mm. I know, and people not wanting to leave their comfort zones to a new place because today's topic is talking about switching, you know, crossing over, changing careers, how comfortable that is. And there's one question I want to ask you because I know you're very strong on personal brand. How does your personal brand affect you switching over, you no know, affect career choices? Do you think it helps or do you think it hurts? I think it helps. I think being deliberate about your personal brand is important. Um, I think understanding who you are, what you stand for, and defining that early. Some people can call it, pardon, you know, the BS factor. Some people say, you know, you're just packaging, you know? But really, at the end of the day, what is your objective? If your objective is to get ahead, it will not just be packaging. Packaging can only take you so far. Mm -hmm. There has to be substance in your personal brand, is it not? So if you define what it is, you are very clear. I'm a very passionate person. I speak passionately. I am passionate about my brand. I am passionate about people, my customers, my team. So that passion is what rules, and that is my personal brand. It cuts across everything, be it my family, my work, what I'm working on. doesn't matter what industry it is. I am passionate. And so that passion must always come across. I'm a very vibrant person. And so my vibrance comes through even in my communication. If you see communication I've designed, you know it's me. You know what I mean? So it always has to come across, but you have to be deliberate about it. And I think it does pay off. Because like I, I listened to some of your banter and you said when you walk into a room, the impression you leave, you know, is what speaks for you much more than what is on paper. 
Hmm. Because what they'll remember is how did they feel when they spoke to you? Did they feel like they had a good conversation? Did they feel like you, you have something to offer? Maybe not technically speaking, but you do have some ideas, right? And you do bring something to the role. And I want to talk to that person again. And that's really all you want sometimes in switching your you know, careers is you want the second step in the door. You want to be able to have that second conversation to convince the person mm. that you are the right person. So your personal brand is important. How you look, how you speak, what you know, it cannot all be packaging. You would have read up, you would have you know, learned, you would have been part of a project or uh, part of a system where you collaborated across teams effectively so that you know a bit more and you can therefore showcase that little thing that you know. So your personal brand is important, I believe so. Okay, so Choma, you, I mean, when I read your resume, I'll go back to that again, I was quite impressed because um, I feel, this is my feeling, that people that are able to work in different organizations, they truly have a different mindset when it comes to the approach of, you know, growth mm -hmm. in terms of their career path. Most people that I've seen that, oh, I've been in this company for 20 years, you know, <laughs> somebody's why, laughing. Why is that <laughs> you know, I think that that is the most, um, the most, uh, how do I put it? I'm waiting for your word. <laughs> I don't want it to attack what me. adjectives? Like, that, that's the wrongest thing you should ever do to yourself as a human being. Like, mm. stay in one place. No matter how good that organization is, right? You must be able to take yourself because people end up getting stuck because you're so used to that place. Even though some of them actually grow through the ranks, you know, go all the way to even positions of directors and all of that. The person is completely different from somebody like a trauma that has been to this, 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 that. So, I mean, is this is this a, a right assumption that I'm making, or I'm just <laughs> I'm just trying to attack some people for staying too long in a place? <laughs> okay, um, uh, and I think AK would know this. Um, when I joined Diamond and they announced, you know, and they said this is where I'm coming from and these are the things I've done, I had people come to me. I think a few asked me how old I was and said, "When did you start working?" That's mm -hmm. crazy. And then a few also said to me, my God, how do you just hop around? Like, how, how do you move, you know, from this place to that place? Okay, so I, I like the challenge. That's the first thing. I'm not necessarily a risk taker per se, but I like the challenge. And the minute I no longer feel happening, I start to question stuff. Hmm. I start to ask myself what's happening. You know? um, and then um, if... There's some people as well, I believe, who, yeah, I, I hear you when you say comfort zone, and I, I don't want to deride their, their passion for one place. Some people are just like, you know what, I'm okay, I'm rising, it's fine. But I had a conversation when I joined Coca-Cola in 2006, and it was with a Zimbabwean colleague. I will never forget it, Lionel, his name is. And he said to me, Chioma, don't always look for the up, look for the across. Hmm. You may be in an organization and he started as an IT support staff. And this guy at this time was uh, head of marketing operations, sales operations in a region, and wow. moved on to run the juice business in East Africa. And he said, don't always tell yourself, oh, I must go up. So, you know, I'm an IT support, I'll become an IT exec, then I'll become an IT manager. No. He said, look around you and say, do you know what? I want to experience, I want to go and work in brands. Mm -hmm. Is there an opportunity in HR? So something that you feel from a skills perspective, you can learn and you can do that. So maybe the person who has spent 20 years has moved across and moved up. So has experienced different things, therefore has trained in different things. Mm -hmm. So you have some kind of rounded experience. I agree that maybe the exposure of different industries, right? But sometimes maybe if you are in one organization for 10 years, 15 years, Please don't tell me that in retail from the beginning to the end, then there's a problem. Hmm. You need to have moved a bit of problem. Absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. But if you step out, be stepping out with a deliberate plan, hmm. not just because they're paying you more money. Hmm. Not just, do you understand? Money is good, all well and good. But what is your end goal? Lose sight of Absolutely. You know, we're going to take a very short break. <laughs> this is getting very hot and juicy. Stay with us, we'll be right back.